Nora sheet flooring can have two types of selvage edges, a tapered edge and a factory cut edge. You'll need to identify and trim the factory cut edge and the tapered edge. Sheets can be factory trimmed on both edges. If no tapered edge exists, use either edge for trimming. Use a Crane 340 salvage trimmer or similar with breakaway blades to make cleaner cuts. Underscribe tools are not recommended for seam cutting. You must add Velcro to the underside of the trimmer to avoid marking the flooring. Add a second layer under the blade side to give the trimmer the correct angle required for unwelded seams. Then remove about half an inch of the factory trimmed edge. Dry lay this sheet flooring with all arrows on the back facing the same direction and overlapping all seams. Do not reverse sheets. Trim or cut down sheets and fit to the walls. The trim sheets will overlap the untrimmed edges and measure a maximum of 48 inches to the next trimmed edge. Make relief cuts as required so the sheets lay flat and to avoid tears. Use a Nora knife with a straight utility blade set to the thickness of the flooring to carefully trace cut the entire seam. Use a utility knife vertically with the same type of straight blade to finish the cut at each end of the seam at the walls. For a clean, even seam and to avoid hand cutting at walls, you can cut seams in a larger area before bringing flooring into the installation area. Finish cutting the seam using a hook blade utility knife to provide a very slight undercut. And carefully remove the excess material the finished dimension on the width should be 48 inches after seam cutting. Continue this process one sheet at a time until the area is completed.